Hey, if you've stumbled upon this video, it's probably because you normally watch RuneScape content here, or you're trying to make money with the swag bucks, free cash, click cash, cash click offer. And if you're one of those three things, we should be in good shape. And if you like RuneScape videos, hopefully you enjoy watching me, and I will try to make it as interesting as possible. This video is, in fact, going to be episode one of a mostly free-to-play series on how to make money playing Raid Shadow Legends. I got involved with one of their offers with RuneScape recently, made 2,700 keys, and it cost me out the door about $100. Uh, that's a phenomenal price for what was like $800 worth of keys, but we can do better than that. Having played the game, I realized it's kind of a fun game. Let's see what we can do with it. And now I'm set to make money from two different sites on playing the game. Now, the offers that we're going to look at trying to complete in this are going to be kind of fictitious. I can't complete any additional ones right now because I have two going on and that's the sites I have access to. I can't repeat them. Here's an offer on free cash right now. 276 for Raid Shadow Legends. It's a great offer. It's a great amount of money. Is it doable? Uh, yeah, this one is kind of. So register, ignore these. Super easy. Upgrade hero to five stars within seven days. If you watch the series, which I hope will be fun gameplay as well, this is like a maybe an hour process, maybe maybe two. Reach Gold Arena within 21 days and Gold Arena 2 within 21 days. This is where it's a little bit trickier. If you follow a series like mine or somebody else's, you'll get squared away on this, no problem. And there's some tricks along the way that I used on getting to Gold Arena 3, which is the offer I did, and 3 is vastly more difficult than 1 and 2. I have a new account I'm doing this on, and uh, I'm already at Silver 2 or 3. Uh, open two sacred shards within 21 days. These are how the offers make money on you. So open six sacreds within 45 days. The Raid Shadow Legend sells tiers of shards. It's like a lottery for heroes that you're playing a turn-based game on. Kind of like a turn-based hero management game. These shards are typically going to go for 20 bucks a pop. So if you were to purchase six of these, you're going to be out 120 bucks up front. And this reaching level 50 is not going to be sustainable. You don't want to try to do that. Ignore the 1750 here. The bonus cash back is also something to ignore. Typically this offer, new beginners pack, is not going to show up very often for people. Because this doesn't show up very often or reliably, I've contacted support. It's on a couple of different websites, it's not just a free cash issue. Ignore it. So take 110 off, take 1775 off. We'll just call it 120 off the total. There's about 150 bucks to play with here. Now, if you were to buy six sacreds, that's 120 bucks. You're looking at $30 for a ton. I think it's fun, but a ton of work for $30 at least. We don't need to do that. We can get six sacreds for around 40 bucks, maybe less. I got them for 40 bucks total. You can reach gold and gold two for free, and I'll show you how to do that. And there's other really phenomenal higher level veteran team building stuff out here. On YouTube, this is incredibly easy with for heroes to five stars. All of that said, I have forty dollars into the account buying the sacred shards. I have ten ten dollars. <laughs> Cameras are weird. Ten dollars in on buying a daily gem pack, and I'm gonna buy a daily gem pack when I demo this. So heads up on that. It's gonna cost ten dollars up front. That that's fine in my opinion on a money making method. That's the only reason the series is not going to be free to play up besides the fact that we are and going to end up purchasing some sacreds. But by the time we get there, we'll have some reasonable development. This is a huge prelude to the video. But all that to say, it's going to be a mostly free to play series on how to make real world dollars playing Raid Shadow Legends. Program, let's set up a nickname. Oh, there we go. That bar on top is kind of annoying. Let's get rid of that bar. Good old display capture. Sometimes it is what it is. So if you've just installed the game, this is exactly what you're going to see. I have played through the tutorial too many times. <laughs> Honestly. Too many times. But we'll play through it one more time. Although I'm not getting any audio, which is kind of interesting. This is just quieter than our music. I don't think so. I think we just can't hear it. That's kind of interesting. Everything out 
Output's all normal for me. Sorry guys, I'm sure that was super, super loud. I'm just confused why suddenly Raid is giving me audio. Alright, none of these characters matter, but... Oh, my head's in the way. Gosh darn it. Here. I gotta get my face out of the way. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be the ogre. <laughs> Alright, sorry, sorry. Uh, the abilities don't matter here. We'll go through them a little bit. If you've never played Raid, I'm going to assume there's a good percentage of people that have never played Raid. I never had. I thought the game was a total meme. Um, this is just the tutorial that's telling you how to fight, how to click your buttons on the enemies. You don't get to control who goes next. That's set by their speed stat. All your starter champs for here are all going to have a big AoE attack. This guy here with the pon ponytail is objectively the best starting champ it's also the most boring for me because i'll have now had him on a bunch of accounts so that's not very fun but pick kale can't skip this this is a dragon you do fight the dragon the points in the game for some different loot and for the tutorial purposes he just eats everybody that's his that's his thing it's kind of a badass kind of an intense moment here I like the dragon, your guys attack. None of those animations look that cool in the game, but that's okay. And then we're gonna end up playing through. Let's exit that. I'm gonna have to pick a champion here. We are gonna pick Kale. As amazing as it is if you haven't played him before. Say no boring. I've picked him a bunch now. He's got poisons, get great away. He's just he's just the best champ for sure. For sure, and since you're doing this to make money, that's what you want to do. Also, if it, I hadn't picked him like six times, it'd probably be pretty fun. You've chosen first champion, one champion's on an army. Okay, so I can't control settings yet. They're just going to force you through a bunch of stages here, but it takes only about 10-15 minutes. These are the shards I talked to you about. The sacred shards are the ones about 20 bucks typically that we can get a better price on. The mystery shards you get for free. And you can get the first three tiers of units there. Uh, you're always going to get the same initial summons. Don't think that probably matters it too much. I'm spamming through this because you just have to click on the screen section. There's lore on the campaigns. I have never read it, uh, but you can feel free to do so. So this is going to be our starter champ, Kale, and you'll have Kale too if you followed us so far. He's got a heart icon here. He gives everybody HP. Oh, they're going to explain it. Yep, 15% HP aura. This is a pretty good thing for you to run through on standard speed. Now I'm going to go to auto here and I'm going to go on 2x and for most of the rest of your game throughout the whole experience with the raid that's what you're going to do. There will be points where it's really beneficial to turn off of auto and that will be pretty clear when we get there and I guess I'll be demoing it. So, But most of the game is this kind of grinding. And here, it's going to explain that sometimes you'll get drops and you get artifacts. Um, this isn't rocket science. You probably want to put the best artifacts on your champions that you can. You can equip six. And again, play through the tutorial at your own pace. I'm going to blitz through this a little bit here because there's not a whole lot to glean. There's not a whole lot. The first bit of this will just be... I'll move this so you guys can see I'm on auto and I'm on 2x. The first bit of this is just going to be going through their forced progression. Each stage or each um, level has three three rounds basically. The lack of sound is a little bit odd though. I'll turn the music back on in a second if we have sound doesn't work. All right, congrats. So this is actually a big deal. Every time you level up, you get full energy and some gems. So you get a full energy refresh because that is the limiter. That's what it takes to do these little micro battles is energy. It's going to explain sets. So we're going to upgrade our gear. All of this is going to be forced progression. If I'm moving too fast, don't worry about it. The game won't let you. <laughs> Right now, there's a chase event. There's always a chase event. I think in the past it used to be life steal. This is perception gear, gives you attack speed and accuracy, which both are good. Um, life steal gear, I think, definitely used to be better for sure, but that predates me playing. This is going to be a free silver pack they give you at the beginning. 
Raid is incredibly oppressive with pop-up ads, and I mean incredibly oppressive. Here we go. There we go. Oh, I want to disable screen shake. Okay, that's already disabled. Probably actually from the other raid clients. Referral program. If you feel like it, you can actually get a, a absolutely free um, early game healer, like a legit early good early game healer. And I think we'll probably do that. I don't think we'll do that in episode one. Excuse me. There's probably going to be a separate video for that. Get people going on blue stacks which is an Android emulator. This is going to be something that takes being a little bit tech sad to do this part here. So heads up on that. But this is a good, this is a really good champion. And I ignored them on my first playthrough. And I regret that. It would have been a lot easier. These are just all mini packs. They're going to shove at you to collect. Don't worry, you can't miss them. They'll have things like free rewards available. So trust me, trust me. They're going to show you 1 million pop-ups and daily login rewards. These are pretty cool. This is going to take you, for me, it was kind of a speed run on this last one, less than two weeks, I think. Let's just assume it takes you three weeks. That would be super, super reasonable. You never played the game before. In three weeks, you're going to have gotten an extra 1,500 energy, a bunch of bonus XP days, a bunch of equipment, and a bunch of books to upgrade your heroes, and a void shard, which is a free one. Um, not a sacred, but it's a, it's a good one. Sort of like the mid-range, the mid-tier. Down here, quest windows. The game's going to walk you through this. It's going to prompt you through it. But I'm going to recommend that anyway. We can rename ourselves as well. And we are going to be named just IRL GP in game. Again, shout out to my RuneScape players. This is the beginning of Raid showing you a bajillion offers. And I mean an absolute metric ton of offers. When you hit level 37, maybe 27, but 37, you're gonna get an amazing deal for two sacreds. Buy, we're gonna buy that if we need to, but we don't need any of these right now. And if you've watched this at all recently, you're gonna come back over here. Is this like some news stuff for them? A limited series. Come on over here, click share, copy, and then select them all and you're gonna get what, a thousand? A thousand energy? Let's see, there's 300. 400. Is that 500 or did we miscount? Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Okay, about 900. Oh. I didn't see if it gave me a total count. This is sometimes what will be required for the offers. You may have an offer that is a sacred daily pack and it gives it to you for free. Um, if it's a cash back or they give you 30 bucks. If that's the case and you have $30, spend it. If you're going to get $30 back, it's, it's not rocket science. Um, and this would actually be one of the one sacred if you needed a sacred. Um, for me, I did not need it. I need two sacreds. Yeah, I just need two sacreds for me and level 25. But we are going to go about it like we need to get four or six sacreds. I should put this up somewhere. So four or six sacreds, and we're going to hit at least gold arena one or two and demo how to get to three if you need to. But three is it's just more rerolls. That's all that it is. But to get there is going to take a little time. All this point, we're just collecting. The stuff's moving fast on the screen. Don't worry about it. So we've got one champ and we are gonna go into our promo codes. And this is what you're gonna type as well. You are gonna type in Monkey King. This should still be up for a while. You can only use one of these special promos. You can research other ones if you want. I've looked at a bunch of them. Monkey King is for sure the best one right now. And you're gonna get a free five star champion. So if you look at this guy, he's got 605 attack base this guy's 229 this is your starter he'll do great for you but right out of the box this monkey is gonna kick butt for you we're gonna just throw our gear on him and throw gear on her this doesn't really matter you're gonna get a ton of silver to start off 
The news is going to show up as a red dot forever. Mark is red. Mark is red. Highly recommend doing that. And ignore the index that's going to pop up forever. So let's start going on to the campaign because you might need to get to level 40, etc. And we're going to do that by going through campaign. To save time, uh, going back and three-starring it later. Let, let me go through that real quick. If you three-star this campaign so you get all of these missions done with Flawless, so you didn't lose anybody, only two heroes or less, you get a Void Shard. Void Shards are great because they're free for you if you do it that way. Because we have this beefy boy, Monkey King, we're just going to start him immediately, and we're going to progress by three-starring. That means in the future, you don't need to come back and waste your energy. And that's going to be pretty handy. Perfect. You are going to see a similar screen to this thousands of times, just so you know. Thousands of times. Even if you have RSL Helper, which I will be getting into here at some point, you're going to see a lot of it. And at least it's a victory screen. This is mostly going to be played through on standard speed here a level up. So we get extra three energy we can hold, five gems, and we get an uncommon. This is the same on every account. You're, you're going to get the exact same unlocks. Now see how there's three slots here? We're not going to use all three. We are just going to use the two still so we can three star efficiently as we go on. That means we don't need to come back later and burn energy on doing the same thing. At some point, we're going to need to raise our unit's levels. The game has a really weird mechanic or aspect they call people chickens, where to take someone from three stars to four, you need to functionally consume three three-star heroes. So the scale on how many heroes you need becomes astronomical as you try to cap out at six stars. And that's where you'll need to get to. If you're trying to get arena, gold arena, one, two, three, um, you're trying to get free sacreds. Most of the time, you're probably going to want a six star. I've done it with a five star, um, two five stars, so two level 50s, but it's it's going to require a lot of manual gameplay. And if you're very new to it, you probably may not be a good fit. So six stars, that's the goal. And as tempting as it is to pump any boosts and levels into uh, heroes that are not our starter champion, Kale. We are not going to do that. The one exception is we are going to put levels into the Monkey King. Not going to farm him too many items, none of that. Just just some levels at the beginning. Because he's already able to go to 50. Okay. Oh. All right. There we go. Skip through that. Level 6. The initial levels are very quick. You get the same setup every time. They give you a unit here. So this one is a two-star chicken, basically. War Priest is three stars. She has a heal. This can be quite useful, 20% max. She buffs everyone's weapons, and she has some and technically can freeze them, but that 15% never triggers. So you have started with Monkey King. He's also really good for your arena. So 28% speed is insane boost, and arena is the PvP aspect. All oh, the dungeons are just dungeons. We're going to put our good gear on the monkey. We'll upgrade it in a second. At this point in the game, these three star pieces, you're never going to upgrade past level eight. And you can just hit instant upgrade so you don't have to watch it try to upgrade. Anything past level eight, even once it lets you, is an absolute waste. It's such a waste of your silver because it might take seven or 800k or more to upgrade your piece because we're such a low level so it's a bit of a bait we're going to put all of our gear on this guy and this is just the same starter gear you can do the literal exact same setup here that i have that puts his attack well over 1200 we'll let her talk for a second yep you eat him yep you're going to get one barrel. This barrel is going to take your guy here all the way to level 50, which is a huge boost. This is huge for any brand new account. It's absolutely cracked. Um, as far as Kale goes, looks like we still have a little bit of gear. We'll throw this on him. 
and the pop-up windows are just telling me it's going to cost money to take things off that's okay we have lots of money right now we're only kidding two heroes missions you're going to get these to collect you are not going to complete the arbiter missions there is a bajillion of them including some very high requirements but the ones that are simple you're going to get some free energy and right now we're sitting at 1200 energy when you start an account, you're going to get set up into new, brand new tournaments. I don't even know if these are real players. <laughs> this bottle gives you full energy of whatever your max stack is. Uh, we need to earn tournament points, which says beat rival players in arena. I don't know if we can even unlock arena yet. Oh, we can. Okay, perfect. Though so this first team is for sure going to be a bot. Because we have buffed our uh, Monkey King out aggressively, he is going to just carry us through. You just assign heroes to the slots. Defenses don't matter. You can only lose so much matchmaker rating every single day. So you can put a team of one, and if you were going to lose anyway to really high power teams, it, it wouldn't matter. We're going to turn this on auto and 2x again and blow through the initial bot team. We're going to battle this guy, might actually be a human, and again, it's going to put it on auto. Monkey King basically one-shots him. This will be true for a while. It's extremely, extremely strong. But it's probably still bots, I think, since it's only showing me one team. If you want to click it manually, you can. This ability here, oh, oh i got to move me again. This ability here ignores 75-50% um, of their defense, I think. Uh, and then does lots of damage. And then this is the AoE for kill, the middle ability. Now we're actually seeing players. But unlike us, because they haven't watched a Casual Guides video, they have not put all their eggs in one basket with uh, Monkey King new player promo. Their mistake. And we're going to wipe the floor here on the initial lobby. And that's great, because every uh, day you're going to get a daily quest to do five arena battles, and you can just absolutely blitz through. Restores classic arena tokens, so we have one of these, I think. So I th we'll go ahead and use it, so you'll have one also if you're watching this anytime soon. Now, if you have a mission to get rush up to arena, let's say gold one or two, or three even. Three is doable, it's just one or two is going to be a lot simpler. Then just go ahead and use them early here. We're just going to get more done. And it shows how strong uh, the Monkey King is. And that Kale will become very strong over time. He's still, still your best champ for sure besides Monkey. So I've knocked out a few of those arena battles. Our MMR is going up. And every time I say MMR matchmaker rating, our arena is now set up. We're going to progress that team getting better gear, better heroes, and move forward. Now, we've won five battles. You'll have done all these same things. We've set four heroes as our defense. We can't force winning a defense. Somebody has to, somebody has to attack us. Um, once we complete all these, we're going to get a book to upgrade the abilities on Kale. That's exactly where all the books are going to go. And to do that, we will go to click Kale, click. Okay, she's going to tell us the same story. We're going to get quite a few of these when the game starts, and they're all going to go on Kale until they no longer fit. Perfect. So we've three starred the first one. Let's look at three starring the second. Now remember, Kale will go in the first slot because he has a, uh, an HP aura. Monkey King doesn't. He's got an aura, but only for the PvP. Ah, does it ever get old watching whatever these, I think they're fell hounds. I don't know. Watching these minions die. I don't think it does. A death hound. Okay, that's gonna give us this champion. Oh, it's a poison debuff. Yeah, I've, I don't think I've ever used them, even though I've gotten them hundreds of times. They just get consumed. For a good few levels, the monkey king is just gonna carry. By the time that gets difficult, we're gonna have killed the level forty or level fifty. That's gonna require that we start grinding XP on heroes at some point. But the higher the level that you're farming. The campaign level, the more XP you're getting. 
Now these heroes are splitting the XP. So if we had four, and this guy's already maxed out, so we're, we're wasting 50% of it. But we're three starring it. And so once we get to the max level that the Monkey King can clear on his own, which is still going to be quite, quite a ways out there, then we can add in three champions that we can grind levels on once Kale has his levels. That's the nature of the game. I will put some description stuff in the description because there's a ton of data I'm throwing at everybody, but it's been super fun for me to get into. So hopefully that's translating for everybody. And also I enjoy, you know, enjoy making money. Tavern, that's exactly where I already took us. So don't worry about that. Skip all of these pop-ups, please. There's not a need right now. So we're getting another 30, 20 gems for free because we've got more stars. We're speed grinding through. And once we get through this dungeon, we're going to call it. I'm going to wrap it for this video and maybe start recording the next one. But I know they're going to become super long and that's going to be that's going to be rough for people. We haven't even gotten into other team comps, but this is going to get you absolutely set up on your way to a very successful start on your account. And that's going to be a way for you to either make some money or just have fun. Just enjoy it. And some of this you can look at it and say, well, maybe I'll make a few bucks. That's perfect. And you can put it back into the account if you don't care about pocketing it. If you don't care about trying to make a profit, you can have fun with it. Put it into a different game. Buy a movie. Buy some popcorn. Like, <laughs> buy two containers of popcorn. Whatever it looks like. The key with raid on all these offers is don't get sucked into going for things that are unattainable. And I've tried to do as much of the legwork on that for you, having done it now across multiple accounts already, uh, and found some things that were just unattainable. Getting level 50 takes way too much energy, way too much time. Uh, I was not convinced it could be done free. I think it probably can, but or mostly free, but I'm not sold on that math yet. So I just recommend don't do it. Do an easier thing. Get paid on the other stuff. If you have still money to be made, do it. It's going to be the boss. Now, Kale, ironically, is going to be our weak point right now because the boss is going to do giga damage to him. Well, company seems pretty, pretty rude, actually. Not going to lie to you. All right, daily quest complete. Nice. We'll get that collected. Quest to summon three champions. We can summon one more here with the free shard we're going to get from the dungeons. Use your greens whenever you feel like it. No point in saving them. This is great. This is an uncommon. Uh, well, it's not a great champion, but he's a two star. That means instead of having to level him from one to ten and then ten to twenty, this guy basically starts um, with two stars so we can just eat him straight away. This is great to boost Kale. It's three dollars. Totally unnecessary. I'm not going to buy it here, but if you want to supercharge your champion early for $3 because maybe you want to play the game uh, in a different way and you don't mind saving the $3, do it. That's that's totally a reasonable deal, actually. <laughs> and I'll try to point that out on any of these that are, that are actually an okay deal. Now, next up for us is going to be three-starring Catacombs of Narbuck, and you'll see that in Episode 2.